pressurization units help us to keep the right pressure into the system. They not only provide water into the heating or cooling system, but they monitoring the pressure as well. So as you'll see here, I just tried to make a very simple design for the pressurization unit. So first you design the boilers, everything, when installation is ready, you see, you will open the bypass valve so you can fill the system with water. As you will see, follow the brake arrows, the water will go through the bypass and not through the pressurization because the pressure it is too low and the pressurization unit it is on alarm. Some of them have initial fillings, but I don't really like to use that function. I just pressurize the system if I have positive pressure. So once the pressure reaches um, maybe 0 0.6, 0 0.5 bars, it's up to how you design it. The pressurization unit start working and then you have to turn off the bypass because the pressurization unit takes over. So pressurization unit will push water into the system until the system will reach minimum pressure, which it's set by you. I usually set it up at 0.5. 0.8 and uh, once the pressure reaches uh, the parameter set by you the boiler will start working so first the boiler will check if the water circulating and then it start heating the water the water circulating to the heat exchanger and the heat exchanger heat it up and it start heating the premises and this is going all over again. This is a closed circuit. So the water passes through the heat exchanger, coming back into the boiler. The boiler might have the pump inside. Sometime you need an extra pump if you have a very large installation. And I will put in the end the pump so you can see it. So if everything runs well, it's not any problem. You are within the bandwidth and you will see the low pressure, the high pressure. You have to consider the height of the building, the size of the installation there are multiple things to be considered so the boiler run well but let's say you have a leak if you have a leak into the system the pressurization unit start counting there's some pressurization unit which are very old they will push water into the system constantly and they will flood the premises this type of pressurization will uh, push about um, from 1 to 100 times water into the system, it is up to you. I usually allow them to push water only 10 times and uh, after 10 times they will uh, stop pushing water into the system and they will raise an alarm and they will uh, ask you to check if you have any leak. And then you repair the leak and then you can restart the system. In case you have a very high pressure, they do things. Sometime you miscalculated the amount of water you put into the system or the pressure vessel might be damaged, not enough elasticity. So you have to check on that one too. Uh, I just wrote a couple of things on the pressurization unit so you can see how to tackle this problem. This is just uh, informal, you still have to be a specialist and uh, you have to know how to do. If you pull out the lid of this type of pressurization unit, inside you'll have the water tank, you'll have the pumps which pushes water into the system, the sensor when monitoring the pressure and the PC board control. Uh, as you see now, I just put the pump near the heat exchanger. So you see it's got a pump and this is the lid of this uh, system. So this is all about pressurization.